I'm homegrown, man, from El Paso. I went to Irvine High School, graduated in 1982, and then uh, right from there I went straight to the Marine Corps, did four years, came back to El Paso, and haven't left since. <laughs> Uh, I worked in anti-air warfare. Uh, we worked with uh, radars and uh, uh, we used to, it was kind of like air traffic control except we would control intercepts with uh, fighters that would fight against each other and we, would, we were basically their eyes and ears uh, with the radars. I started off in, I uh, went to 29 Palms, California, we call it 29 Stumps, um, middle of nowhere for training for about three months. Then I went to North Carolina for a year. And I was stationed there a year, and then they sent me to Hawaii for three years, which was really tough duty. As a single man, 19 years old, in Waikiki almost every weekend, I really kind of had it rough, but you know, I'm not going to complain. I survived it, yeah. Well, my character's name is Victor Cortez, and um, I am, uh, I guess I'm an underboss, uh, kind of a hitman or an enforcer. And I'm kind of like third in line under the, the main guy, uh, which is Don Cortez. And um, my, my character is a little bit of a hothead. He's basically the enforcer. He's the one that they call whenever there's problems. So, um, you know, my character, is, it was fun playing him because, you know, he, he did a lot of yelling and a lot of, uh, you know, the guy's just mean. So he's, he's, it, was, it was a good character to get into. I guess just that that he was just there was, he was just uh, real. There was no, you know, he wasn't fake. I mean, the guy was just he was just all emotion. I mean, the guy something would go wrong and he he'd get pissed off, take care of it. Um, I guess what I liked about him is that you know this guy is the type of character you see on movies that you know just goes out and does what he has to do. He you know he he goes out and whacks people and, and kills people. And of course you know we can't do that on our own, so I kind of live vicariously through the character. Um, you know, we all like gangster movies and we all kind of look up to the, the gangsters that we see on TV and stuff, but obviously, you know, we're not going to go do that stuff. So when you get the player character like that, uh, it's a lot of fun. So. Actually, it is. Um, I did, I did a couple of spots a couple of years before for a local TV show here, it was a couple of skits that I did, uh, but, you know, nothing like this, I mean, for, you know, as far as a movie is concerned, uh, never done anything like that, so it was pretty interesting. You know, I, I really liked everything, I've always been intrigued with, with movies, and, and I, I don't know if most people are like this, but I've always liked to see the behind the scenes stuff, you know, I, I like watching movies, but I always like in the end when they have the behind the scenes or the bloopers and all that. And you kind of get to see the actors uh, in real life and how they interact with each other and the fun that they have. And so, you know, I always thought that was really neat. And so just being part of the movie uh, and getting to do that, even though we were there sometimes all day, you know, working long hours and, and doing a, a scene over and over and over again. I mean, it was just, it was everything I expected it to be. It was a lot of fun. So everything about the movie, about doing the movie, I liked. It was, it was exciting. Well, yeah, I, I got to meet um, you know some of the people that I did meet. I already knew um, you know, Ch Chaz Pratt and uh, Billy Towns, and uh, we all went to high school together. And I, in fact, I ran into Chaz, and and uh, I didn't recognize him. I was like, "Hey, how's it going?" And we were standing there. We had just gotten picked for our for uh, for the movie. And we started talking about, yeah, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from El Paso, and I'm in Phoenix now, and this and that. And we put, I was like, hey, we went to high school together. So, you know, that was kind of weird. You know, I hadn't seen Chaz since probably high school. So, and of course, Billy, I've seen him around, you know, in the circuit here doing his music and all that stuff. So he's very well known. And of course, we met a bunch of other people. I made some, some new friends uh, that we've kept in touch and so forth. So, so it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, you know, we got to meet a lot of people, got to interact with them, so it, it, was, it was really a good experience. Well, you know, when I, when I did the, I was talking about the, the, some of the TV stuff that I did a few years ago, a couple of skits, I kind of got, I liked it, I got the acting bug, but 
you know, after that was over, I really didn't pursue it. I just kind of went back to work, and and of course, when the audition came out, I saw, I saw it in the newspaper, and I thought, hey, what the heck? You know, I've done this before. Well, let me give it a shot. So I went ahead and did it. I got picked for the for the movie, and um, it's like I got the bug all over again. And so it was a lot of fun. In fact, when it was over, I was like, hey, it can't be over, you know. So I, I was looking around to see if there was any other projects and stuff, but you know, here in El Paso, there isn't. A lot going on with that, but I know there's a lot like in New Mexico and other places. So I've been kind of looking into stuff like that, but uh, I, I would definitely like to be involved in another, another movie. Definitely. I would definitely wanted to stay involved in, in, in the movie business. I mean, as far as acting, I, I really had a lot of fun doing it. Like I said, I got the bug. Uh, it was exciting for me. As far as roles, um, I never really gave it much thought. I, right now, I'm just, you know, the role that they gave me here was pretty cool. Uh, you know, playing a gangster is always cool. So, you know, that that of course I wouldn't mind doing again. But really, just I never I never gave it much thought as far as what I wanted to do. But pretty much open to anything. I mean, just you know, whatever's out there, I would like to continue. I know if, if Billy and, and, and the rest of the crew are, are looking at doing more projects and stuff, I would definitely like to be involved. So. Well, that's how get ready to be blown away. Because I mean, I, what I, from what I've seen, uh, it's great. The cinematography, the sound, the acting. I mean, it, it doesn't look like what you would think would come out of a you know a small town or a town that generally doesn't produce movies. Um, it looks very good. It looks very professional. It was put together very well. And although I haven't seen the whole thing, you know, I've seen the trailers and I've seen some of the scenes that we've done. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it, and I, I can't wait to see the whole thing. I'm pretty excited about it. Oh yes, I'm one of my cousins, uh, Alfonso. Um, when I did the audition, I remember I, I, you know, they were still looking for more people, and I called him up and I was like, "Hey man, you need to come out here and audition." Uh, and he did. He went over there and you know did his thing, and they picked him. And so he, he's in one of the scenes, and so it was a lot. Of, it was fun working with him. You know, we we've always talked about you know when we're growing up and stuff. Well, I'd be cool to be in a movie, or you know, we gotta. You know, do this, become musicians or become actors, and none of which ever happened. And so now to be in a movie together, it was pretty. It was almost like, wow, this is this is crazy. You know, so we are in a movie. <laughs>